first of all, thank you so much for joining us all for Domo Palooza 2021. We're so excited that you're here and looking forward to our workshop today. For the next 45 minutes, we'll conduct a workshop on distributed intelligence. I'm joined with some really talented individuals from the team here at Domo who will not only share examples of how both us internally and our customers are leveraging Domo to distribute intelligence outside of the walls of the organization, but also show you exactly how you can take action to start distributing intelligence to external parties today. Without any further ado, let's do some introductions and get started. My name is Dan Hendrickson, and I'm the GM over the Domo Everywhere product suite. Domo Everywhere is a suite of tools we'll be discussing today that provide you a variety of methods to share data and data experiences securely with people outside of your organization. You'll also get to hear from the real superstars here as we're fortunate enough to be joined by our VP of Operations, Mark Mon, one of our senior analytics consultants, Lara Quayley, and the VP of our engineering services group, Beth Sines. We're going to have Mark talk about how Domo was able to distribute intelligence fast and far when the COVID-19 pandemic struck. He'll go into details about how we got data assembled and a dashboard up in a single business day then continued to iterate on that as the landscape changed and enhanced the distribution to include things like user subscribed, geographic specific alerts to make sure people were notified proactively of what was going on in their area and a variety of methods where users around the globe could gain access to the raw data feeds so they could marry it up with their own internal data to draw further insight and conclusion. We're going to have Lara talk to you about a partnership we have with the US federal government that is securely sharing both public and private data to constituents in various locales about the government spending around the pandemic response. There's some very neat things you'll learn from her about their unique localization requirements, as well as tight governance and security policies that had to be in place to make sure that sensitive data is able to be used by the appropriate parties without getting in the hands of others and doing it at massive scale. And last but not least, we're going to have Beth share some examples of how Domo apps are being used in conjunction with Domo Embed to create incredible experiences that go much beyond just distributing data and insights, but allowing for the gathering of information and real-time communication between a variety of parties. My personal favorite is a tale of how a global CPG company is using Domo Everywhere in conjunction with intelligent apps to streamline their complex supply chain and vastly improve interaction and accountability with third-party vendors, all while maintaining anonymity across partners and processes. Without any further ado, I'll hand it over to Mark and he's gonna to talk to you about that COVID tracker. Great. All right, uh, thanks, Dan. Um, uh, my name is Mark Bond. I run our internal analytics and operations groups here at Domo. And uh, looking at this slide, I just realized that if a square crop is cropping up both the hair on top of your head as well as the hair coming out of your chin, maybe something's gone a little too far. Uh, I've solved that though by growing my hair even further so it lays down, so uh, good news there. As Dan mentioned, uh, we're gonna show you a few examples of how we at Domo and some customers are using Domo everywhere to distribute intelligence across our organization and, and frankly across the world. I wanna walk you through the work that we did for our public facing uh, COVID tracker before I hand it off to Lara and Beth to talk about a few other use cases. Before we do that, let's, uh, let's talk a little history. So as we all know, about a year ago, the world shuts down and a cross-functional team of folks here at Domo start looking for answers around COVID-19. Uh, they go out to the internet, they find a number of different sources um, and as typically is the case, they find some good uh, stuff here and some good stuff there, but not everything in, in one place. Uh, luckily, well, we built a software that allows us to bring all of, uh, of that data together and to provide insight uh, from that data. Some might say that we provide BI leverage at cloud scale in record time. So I want to show you the end product of what we built, but first let's go into the instance where the cards and pages were built and show you how we did it and how Domo Everywhere works. So here I'm in our instance of Domo that we built our COVID tracker in, and I'm in a page uh, where we have some of these cards uh, that we are using in the, in the tracker. I'm gonna click on this share button and you can see uh, you have this embed uh, dashboard option. If you don't see that in your instance, it might be because you don't have 
uh, Don't Wherever are enabled in your instance, and, and uh, you can hit us up by email. We can help you get that enabled. Uh, so if I click on Embed Dashboard, it brings me up some display options, pretty simple, and then gives me some embed options. I'll turn this off, and you can see when I select private or public, depending on how you want to share this, it provides you with a link as well as an embed code that you can copy and paste into your HTML. Really simple. If I want to share just a card, I'll go into this card, for example. Same kind of idea here. We'll have a share button. Click on that. And again, embed card. And here you'll have similar options to what you have. Some display options, the ability to indicate whether you want to share that publicly or privately. And again, you'll get this HTML code to copy right into your, um, into your website or an intranet site, what, whatever the case may be. So great news there, pretty simple, easy to do. Now, the other thing that I love about Domo Everywhere is not only can you embed cards and pages, but you also have the ability to embed actual applications within um, your embed instance. So uh, for example, for the COVID tracker, we wanted to build a custom application that provided information regarding how the outbreak was, uh, how this outbreak spread over time. So we built this custom visualization that would allow uh, for users to play and see uh, the, where, where, where the um, virus uh, hit and where it spread over time. And you can, uh, users can pull this, uh, this slider and see, see that spread over time. And what's great is, again, we were able to take Domo everywhere and embed this directly into the COVID tracker, which I'll, I'll show you later. Now, one of the challenges that we had with the COVID tracker is we wanted to provide alerts to the users of that tracker, but a lot of those users weren't in our instance of Domo or, or weren't Domo users. And so what we needed to do was leverage a separate Domo app that we built uh, called campaigns. So simple application, uh, but it allows you to create and manage email or SMS campaigns uh, to be able to distribute information to individuals. So I'll click into this one here. This is a live uh, campaign, so I'm, I'm going to click around some things and avoid some other things so you're not seeing confidential information. But you can see how uh, we've got the email here that goes out and it references content that is pulling directly from Domo and providing that information to that user in that email or in the SMS. Uh, you can set uh, a number of different schedules. Uh, we have this set to go out daily at 4 p.m. You can switch that to, to show hourly or you know, at whatever preference you can create additional schedules. You also have some ability to get notifications as to whether a delivery was successful or not and some settings around your email. Um, so this is what we use, and I'll, I'll reference this when we go over into the actual tracker, and you can see that. Now, I wanted to show a little bit about how edits are made instantaneously when you make an edit in your Domo page, how that uh, reflects over in your Domo Everywhere uh, content as well. So we'll go back into this page that I was in earlier, and uh, let's say, for example, I want to take, uh, take this card here, and uh, this is a, a filter card that allows us to apply a filter to th this other content. And let's say that I'm not loving this blue and I wanna actually change, I actually wanna change that blue to a different color. So I'll just uh, go into the card in Analyzer. Great, so I'm in this card in Analyzer. All I have to do is I'll select this color, wanna change this from blue to red, I'll hit next. I'm only going to apply this to this card. And you'll see now this this week uh, filter is now red. Uh, just go ahead and save that. And close out of that. Now that change is already reflected in our Domo Everywhere uh, instance in, in Domo.com. Uh, really great for uh, for quick modifications and being able to stay on top of changes that, that you have to make. Now, before I go over to the instance and show you how the end product looks, I want to talk a little bit about a quick start that we created using this same, uh, these same cards and this same data. So if I go into our App Store, and you can follow along in your instance uh, if you have a Domo instance, click on App Store, 
And here you can search our app store for a number of different apps, hundreds of apps from uh, that we built or our partners have built. If I click on, uh, but conveniently we've got the, the COVID dashboard or, or the, the COVID tracker here uh, listed. So I'll click on that. I can see, click get simple. I can see that this has been installed one time in our instance already, no problem. I wanna install it again. I'll click notify me. That just drops this down to, to the corner here and gets out of my way. Um, so here in, in the app store, you can easily find uh, whatever app you're looking for. You got tags and can go and search out on those tags. Now within a few seconds, uh, we'll have this uh, dashboard spun up. So what this is doing is it's actually taking and spinning up the cards and the dashboards that we've created within your own instance of Domo. So now we have these sample cards. Uh, again, these should look familiar, similar to what we were showing in, in our instance earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and click connect because while these are sample cards, the data hasn't been connected and so we're not looking at real-time data. Click connect and as simple as that, now these cards are gonna spin up and be based on real-time data and you'll have this COVID tracker right there in your own instance of Domo. All right, with that, why don't we jump over to the end product? I've got open in domo.com, uh, our COVID tracker, and you can find this by just going to domo.com and clicking on company. Uh, so here you can see, again, all of this content should look familiar. We've got all of these, uh, all of these uh, different cards and, that we had over in our instance, but now available to the public. One thing I love about Domo Everywhere is that you have the ability to embed filters as well. Uh, so this allows for users to really self-explore content. So for example, I'm in the state of Utah, and so the, uh, the COVID metrics for Utah are the most important to me. I'll click on that. And now all of that content is going to filter down uh, from, from US cases down only to Utah cases. And as, an, as a user, I can, um, I can get the information that I'm interested in. The other thing you'll notice is, if you remember, we made this filter change color to red, and, and like you can see, that's already, that's already reflecting here. So again, quick overview from this use case. Uh, I'm going to pass it back to Dan, and he's going to have Laura and Beth talk through a couple of other use cases. Hey, thanks so much, Mark. I love what we were able to do there with the COVID tracker, and I appreciate you taking a minute to walk everybody through it. I'm, I'm really excited to see what all you guys uh, put together and, and share share out there with the world. Uh, now I'm gonna hand over to Lara and she's gonna talk to us a little bit about what we're doing with the Pandemic Response Accountability Committee, AKA the PRAC. Lara? Thanks. And like Dan mentioned, I'm an analytics consultant here at Domo, which really means I help groups and business leaders build and use intelligent analytics to make better business decisions. But Luckily, this last year, I also got the opportunity to participate in a strategic partnership with Smarttronics, and they brought us in to help PRAC um, deliver a solution that gave their constituents a way to explore public funding data. So the PRAC, which um, Dan mentioned, Pandemic Response Accountability Committee, um, they're established by the, the Council of Inspectors General really to promote transparency and oversight of the pandemic relief legislation. So the government's response to the global pandemic really created a unique need for distributed intelligence. So in order to give the public access to all of the COVID funding data, PRAC needed a solution to easily and securely serve up data in mass. So the Domo Everywhere product was a great fit for this use case because they, they were able to build, test, and deploy content in a safe and secure environment before moving it into production. And because embedded content is configured just as you would a typical dashboard, we are able to meet a tight deadline because Domo content can be developed in tandem with the website. Now I'm just gonna quickly show the solution by navigating to pandemicoversight.gov. And we also encourage you to join us. Um, this is a public site um, and this is a great use case to see Domo in action. So as this page loads up, you can see this is a really great resource for any information regarding the pandemic response from the government. Um, I'll just scroll to the bottom here to highlight also an app that we built. And this is really just a summary of all of the funding and where it went. You're able to hover over and see the details of what was included in each of those. But where we're ultimately going to navigate to is this track the money at the top tab here and funding and charts. And what this takes us to is just an overview and a way to navigate through all of the content here. There's quite a bit. And so they wanted to make it really easy for you to decide which to explore at what time. So 
We're going to start with this pandemic response funding. And I also want to call out the partnership with Smarttronics also meant that as we developed the Domo content, it integrated seamlessly into the site. So all the content you're seeing on the screen here really looks like it's native to the website because we were able to work in tandem with them to get the design correct, the sizing, all of that, and embed it in a way that it looks like it's part of the site. So now that I've got the page loaded here, this is a way to explore the, the response funding with these separate tabs. And this content is housed within a custom app, which allows us to have these global filters at the top. So let's say I'm a, a New York State citizen. And I want to filter this, this page down to New York. So it was very important to Crack and to us that when you come to this page, you're able to explore the content in a way that's relevant to you. So, so not just seeing everything aggregated for the country, but if you wanted to look at your specific county or city or state, you're able to do that here. So as that refreshed, I also just want to point out the scalability here is that every single card that you're seeing on the dashboard holds thousands of rows of data and all of those render almost instantly when we apply a filter. So now you'll see I'm looking at only New York data. So I can see what's been allocated versus what's been spent. Scroll down and to see details of specific awards. Like I can see here that the Department of Health and Human Services uh, received funding for epidemiology and lab capacity. As I scroll back up and click through these tabs, you'll notice, notice that the filters stay, meaning these are global filters and they're gonna follow me through whatever content I explore here. Lastly, on this tab, I also wanna hit this data export. So you're able to come here, filter the data or not filter it, meaning you'll get everything and actually export it directly to your system if you want to explore it in a more hands-on uh, approach. So what you'll do is apply filters or drop them up top. And then you actually just click right into the table card and export using this button. And this gave people a way to explore it in a, in a nice polished format, but also take it a step further if they're looking for something more exploratory and in order, you know, put an Excel or build their own charts on it. Now we'll just navigate back to this top level and we're gonna navigate into this Paycheck Protection Program. And you might be familiar with this. This is the, the legislation that the government passed it to help businesses be able to weather the storm and be able to pay their employees um, during that time of uncertainty. So again, I'm gonna apply a filter here, except instead of entering a state, county, or zip, I'm actually gonna use this keyword here. And this is a really useful functionality that allows you to search really any term. It could be the name of a business, um, an industry, or a specific title. In here, I'm actually gonna search construction. So let's say I have a construction company. I just wanna see what are the companies received funding in this sector. So as I search, it's going through literally every row in the data set looking for any reference to this. Okay, so as I enter in construction, you can start to see the specific details that render in these cards. So about 600,000 loans went out to construction related companies. And as I scroll through, I can see loans by race and ethnicity, if that was reported, by gender, if that is also reported, and even the lenders, which originated these PPP loans. So the banks acted, of course, as liaison between the government and the companies receiving the loans. And I'm even able to get into specific um, lender details or the actual loans themselves down here. So I can see J&M Brown Company received 10 million from Citizens Bank. And it's just a very you know detailed and exploratory way to consume maybe data that's not the most glamorous. Here, I just wanna again call out Smarttronics for a wonderful partnership and allowing us to, to bring Domo into the solution. I also wanna call out if you're not sick of COVID data yet, which we all are, but you can also navigate for an interesting use case to coronavirus.iowa.gov, where you also can see um, the Domo embedded uh, product native into their website and explore using filters just as you've seen on the other sites. Thanks, Laura. I love how we, uh, the creative use of the app there to get the, the, the persistent filters across all the different dashboards within the Prax site. Very cool. Um, really, really takes functionality to the next level. Great, great job there. Now I'm going to hand it over to Beth Signs. Beth's going to talk about some more detailed uses of apps in conjunction with Domo Everywhere to do some really cool things. Thanks, Dan. It's really exciting how we're using Domo Everywhere. Another great example, and again, you know, as Laura and Mark talked about, um, we extensively leveraged our intelligent app platform with Domo Everywhere for Domo's COVID response. Um, here I've got just a few examples on the screen. Um, and you can see they look very different and they're very catered um, toward the specific use case and tailored for what our customers really needed to know. 
And here, I wanted to share an example with you of a packaged app that you can download from the App Store, just as Mark showed you earlier in this segment. This app is Form Builder. Um, here, we're building out just a little registration form for a 5K fun run. And Form Builder integrates completely with everything in Domo Everywhere and with Domo so that you can take the data that you're having your customers input through this form and it syncs right back into Domo and it becomes part of your Domo data. As you can see, this is a simple drag and drop interface. Um, there's a multitude of question types and you can configure this to look and feel the way that you want it to. And then you use our companion app form viewer to embed your forms right into your dashboards for Domo Everywhere. With Form Builder, you can also add your own branding, your own little customization, just as we're doing here. And then we'll take this completed form and again, using our form viewer app, embed it right into your Domo Everywhere dashboard and share it out with your users. Just to give you a few additional examples of how customers are leveraging our intelligent apps and using them with Domo Everywhere to create a full experience that they share with their customers or with their internal users. One great example, we have a software company that's leveraging Domo's best-in-class data integration capabilities and our intelligent app framework to replace legacy systems like IBM Cognos. Another example, we have a pharmaceutical company that uses our intelligent apps and Domo Everywhere to coordinate the processes and projects that are necessary for drug trials and for launches. Um, it's a very complex process and it's really amazing how they can bring all of their users together onto one page and everybody can stay coordinated. Finally, another great example, we have a retail supplier who is sharing key data about shipping and stocking with their vendors directly, utilizing Domo's built-in governance features um, to ensure they have secure data and the um, experience is very tailored to exactly what they need because they are leveraging our intelligent app platform. Thanks, Dan. Back to you. Beth, thank you so much. I, I love those examples. Really cool stuff we're seeing. And Mark and Lara, thanks both of you as well for sharing. Uh, everyone who's been here with us, uh, thanks for hanging on. I'm sure you're all very excited and ready to take action. So let's talk about what's next. The good news is everything we've talked about today is available for you to start using right now. Check out the training we have available at learndomo.domo.com. You'll specifically want to look at the courses titled Domo Everywhere Embed and Domo Everywhere Publish. Those will help you get started. From there, we've got a ton of great content in the Domo University Video Library and the Domo Knowledge Base. Both those resources can be found by clicking on the question mark in the top right corner of your Domo instance. Now, I know we talked a lot about apps. You should go check out developer.domo.com. There's a lot of great content there to get you started and have your own app built and functioning in a matter of minutes. I should also put a plug in for a session here at Domo Palooza done by Trevor Tingey and Cadell Falconer. I'd highly recommend you check it out. And lastly, reach out to your account team. If you're already a Domo customer, your AE or CSM would be happy to help you get moving. If you're a prospective client, go activate a free trial of Domo at our website and have a conversation with the rep that reaches out to you letting them know that you're interested in Domo Everywhere. Thank you again so much for joining us and spending some time with us today. We're thrilled that you're here and look forward to seeing all the great things you create and share, distribute, leveraging Domo Everywhere. <laughs>